Good morning. Hi, good morning. It's 7 a.m. 7 11, actually. I, um, I haven't slept yet. That's why I'm up this early. Um, but that's okay. I have to tweet that I'm live. Maybe I will just respond to the alt one, maybe? I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this account, truth be told. Okay. I am live now. Um, is that too enthusiastic? Okay, I am live. Smiley. Yeah, that's, that's a good happy medium. Yeah. <laughs> Not too shabby. Morning, guys. Good morning. Um. Ah. Uh, we're when. Thanks for the prime. Thank you. How's the sync doing? Oh my god. It's honestly. Um. It's a mixture of like. It's kind of rough. Because I'm trying to get like a bidet in. You know. But the pipe work is kind of weird. So. That's half the struggle. All right. Hmm. <laughs> Shelby, thank you for the sub. Kimberly, thank you for the five gifted. <laughs> Thanks, Kimberly. Oh, wow. Mm. Every time I go into like the F mode like this, I'm on my like, I feel like I'm on my bad boy Halo arc, <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh man, I thought I was gonna have like a plan today, but I guess I didn't. Um. Ooh, I don't know if I think Minecraft is like loud enough. Hmm. One second. It doesn't sound loud enough to me. Like I can barely hear it, you know? But I also think the music is so loud compared to the Minecraft. Oh boy. Change the music. Yeah, let me go inside where it's safe. <gasps> Squarp Apollo, thank you for the subs. Good morning. What shaders do you use? Um, it's begun. This is, sh uh, Silders. Let's see. I wanted to try a different one, but, um, we can also do the classic one, but I kind of thought the crackly sound was nice. What if we did Jazz Fridays? <gasps> Froggy, thanks for the 10 months. Tori, not thanks for the 14. Um. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if people are studying for finals in the u.s anymore um interesting it's thursday oh <laughs> hmm in the eu we are uh, i see i'm trying to figure out like <gasps> it's press thanks to the 22 months it's my birthday on monday and you're turning 20 oh my goodness Happy early birthday, Pris. Happy early birthday. Um. Wait. Oh, why is it so quiet? I don't understand. Also, why? Are okay, guys. What do we think of the music? It feels different. And I don't know if I like change. But change is also a good thing, you know? Um, <laughs> do you think it's okay or should we change it? You know, you like the music? It's good. Well, it, I stopped it because I'm silly, but, um, but it just sounds like wind kind of like half the time. <laughs> okay. We'll just do this one. I guess it just feels so um 
Oh, classic. Excavation, thanks to the 11 months. We'll just go back to pumpkin harvesting, I guess. Hmm. Womp the womp, thanks to the five months. Oh my god, remember when I took 50 billion years to build this? I don't understand why. It's just a single line of logs, bro. What the heck? Buenos dias, Tina. <gasps> Buenos dias. Hmm. <gasps> what is all this rubbish in my bin? I need to go organize stuff today. Hmm. Minty Pastel Prince, thanks for the 22 months. Oh my god, you probably have little minty colored hair. Oh. Do you know speak Spanish? No. <laughs> I don't speak Spanish. I just try sometimes. Um, where's the squad? Oh, there's no squad. This is solo relaxing Minecraft. You know how it is. <gasps> Richie? Oh my goodness! Oh, thank you, Richie, with the 10 gifted too! You're crazy! Thanks, Richie! Thank you! Oh! oh thank you, Richie! Oh, and Crystal, thank you for the resub! Sophia, thank you! Oh my god, if anybody missed the last stream, which is very bound to happen, we have a new emo and it's tinky bitch and it's honestly like one of my personal favorites right now wow i just don't really have inventory space what if i put one of the okay yeah and then we have one where you can wake up so the new subs get to use it it's awesome I always get so scared that when I go in the water like this, um, I will jump on my soil and ruin it all. And then I'll have to wait next season for a new layer of topsoil. Hmm. Most of us right now. Watching during work. Dude, I don't know why. It feels like it's always just me that's streaming during people's sleep school work hours. Or maybe that's everybody's experience, but everybody's always like working or s in school or something. <laughs> Good morning, Tina. I'm watching in bio class C. <laughs> Alive Slice, thanks for the 15 months. That's basically everyone. I am streaming on a Thursday morning, but I do just want to keep people company. Um, oh, where, hmm, is that the number one plumber? Dude, I'm like, oh my god, I'm like pissed at Toto, the toilet seat brand right now, because why would they make it so that you have to use, like, their specific little spout? It's like a 3 8 valve or whatever, and they don't really make those that much. Like, they're pretty rare. So to, like, connect it straight, like, to the sink or whatever, you'd have to get, like, a converter valve, which is just such a niche product. Like, I don't know. Luminicat, thanks for the 20 months. Thank you. So I'm ordering a niche bathroom product right now, and I have to wait for it to deliver before I... Oh, yeah, it's ridiculous. Just so silly. I'm at work, but man, I wish I could watch streams. Oh, that's okay. This is a relaxing stream for, um, you know, the sleepy people or the people that are studying or people that just want, like, chill ambient noise, you know? Like, nothing too disruptive for their day-to-day -day experience. I think that's what this kind of stream is. 
At least that's what I hope for it to be. Shrugs. I don't know. Um. Hmm. Tina goes adventuring today. Surely. Okay. Well. I don't know what I would need to go adventuring for. Great, I ruined one of my pumpkins. I mean, surely I organized some of my chests, right? I don't know. Crazy. Pulled an all-nighter. Oh, I definitely did. And I am a sleepy gal right now. Oh my god, guys, it's the Jerry's. Remember those? We love Jerry's. Um, hmm, cobblestone, yeah, we'll put some of that in there. Okay, birch? Why do we have so much? Hmm. You have to go to work, have fun? Oh, thanks! We'll do our best. Were you going to stream Legend of Zelda again? Um... Yes, I think so. Hmm, I think so. Wow. How pretty, huh? Wow. <gasps> Richie! What the heck? Thanks for the time gifted! Oh my god. Guys, give Richie so much love. Richie's an angel. What the heck? Thank you, Richie. Our beloved. Hmm. Did we plant all the seeds? I can't remember. You missed so many. That's okay. What the heck? Oh my god. Doing this without my crosshair is kind of hard. Like, I have to be like... Spatially aware it's happening. What are these carrots? What was that? Was it just normal wheat? Why did it look like carrots? I said thanks to the 14 runs. Thank you. Hmm. You feel cozy watching your shit. That's good. That's perfect. Good, good. Utiniki sip, that's a classic, dude. Hmm. Yo, the emotes are big again. Dude, I know 7TV, like, messed them all up. I don't know why. Maybe I'll go to sleep. Melly BTW, thanks for the prime. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Tina, to eres muy hermosa. Oh my goodness. Thank you. What the heck? Tu también. Ah, she Yoshi with the 26 months. What the heck? Good morning. Oh my god. The wake up emote. Hmm. Okay, no, surely I can organize just a little bit more. Just a little bit longer. Don't let me get distracted now, guys. I just feel like I keep getting distracted. It's so bad. Ah, we really need sugar the most. Lillian, thanks for the gift. Thank you, Sarah Stars. Thank you so much. Did I read that? I feel like I read it in my brain and I was like, wow, pretty, pretty name. But I don't know if I said it out loud. <laughs> You guys ever do stuff like that? Especially with like text messages and stuff? I'm a insane offense, like an offender of that stuff. Like, um, Emily helps me a lot with stuff and I just catch myself responding to her messages in, and then I'll leave in the middle of writing one. And then like when I come back to like text her again, there's like a half a written message in there and I'm like, bruh, how did I get so distracted? And it happens like multiple times a day. It's sick. Yay, 
love to hear you in the morning while you work. Yay! That's perfect. That's perfect. Hmm. Can you give me a cute name for my girl Sim? Um. Saren. For serendipity. The pink dinosaur. Oh, the fishing contest. Was this my side? I feel like I won. Hmm. Meg the Princess Lexa, thank you for the subs. Thank you for streaming. Now I can't wait to start setting. Oh, that's cute. What the heck? That's cute. Um. All these sticks and vines. I mean, it's in the foliage chest, surely, but... Hmm. What's with all this garbage? Where's the spruce bin? Okay. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Vero, thanks for the 22 months. Oh, I know, it's crazy. What is it, like two more months and it's two years? That's nuts. Nuts, I tell ya. Um, hmm. Oh, Kylie Smiley, thanks for the seven months. Cozy stream vibes. Yeah, yeah, so cozy. Hmm. The new Animal Crossing game. Hmm. Where is the glass? Where's the glass bin? I can't seem to find that old thing anywhere. Oh, glass bin. Where are you? Oh, surely this box of junk will hold my glass. Sticks, anyone? I mean, it's not so bad to have sticks, you know? I just don't... The spyglass is, like, nice to have, but I feel like I don't really use it that much. Oh. Aren't the stakes high in this mode? Shouldn't I fear for my life? What is there to live for? Ah. Oh. Hmm... Ah, uh, Rainy Day Maddie, thanks for the 15 months! Thanks, Rainy Day Maddie. 10 out of 10 doctors agree that a teen to stream is the best way to start the day. They're so cute, what the heck? <laughs> Precious. Maybe I'll take one of the horses on the 202. Hmm. Ow. <laughs> My dog is here. Can you say hi to Yoshi? They're a big fan. Hi, Yoshi. <laughs> Alright, time to go on the 202, guys. The 202. <laughs> go to the nether and find the fortress. I think I would die, like, immediately. It's hardcore, you know. Everything does way more damage than usual. Like, way more. Violet, thanks for the tier one. Thank you. And then if I die, that's it. I have to end the stream. I don't even know if Sam is awake to, like, revive me. Even if I wanted to bend the rules all of a sudden. The wind. How does your horse walk on water? It doesn't. There's a bridge. <laughs> My pretty horse. I don't know if this horse is mine. It's been too, too long. Do you watch calm streams and videos to go to sleep? I do all the time. I've actually like recently started watching like ASMR sometimes. 
because instead of like browsing TikTok, it's like a video that takes up my phone space or whatever. And then I can't watch social media before I go to bed. Um. Oh, chandelier with jukeboxes. Oh, he's got money. Sheesh. What the heck? There was this one girl. Well, I just saw this one girl on my TikTok for you page, right? And she did like fairy ASMR, but she had a Jersey accent. And it was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, and then, and then I like started following her on, or, or I, I subscribed to her YouTube channel because I thought the whole thing was going to be like that. And she doesn't actually have a Jersey accent. It was just for the video. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's really misleading. I thought there would be stairs there. But, um, her, the, I don't know, it's like a fairy salon. And she's like, we're gonna get you all taken care of. And, and then she's like, we're gonna use this spring eyeshadow palette. And she brings out like this, this palette with flowers on it. And then she dusts her brushes into the flowers and then... I'm like, wow, I'm a fairy. And she says, and for glitter, mermaid scales. So I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Mermaid scales. It's awesome. Yeah, I didn't build any of these. Actually, wait, I would like to go see what's on the other side. Um... The lemon cat, thanks for the seven months. You're about to cry because bro, you're joking. You're I was about to cry from an awful day at work. <gasps> I'm sorry, lemon cat. No, honestly, I feel like my nerves have been through the roof lately. <sighs> so honestly, anything just to like unwind, you know? Jenny, thanks for the 17 months. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, too. <gasps> Axolotls! Hmm. This is Carl's boat. His ship. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Super nervy times lately. Uh, I don't know. It's been, like, a little tough for me to, like, de-stress sometimes. So I haven't been on the internet as much. But the thing is, like, that upsets me a little bit. The brains. Oh, the brains. The brains of the ship. <laughs> He's so goofy. <laughs> hmm. Um... Oh, yeah. Look at him. What the heck? Hey, man. <laughs> what a goofball. <gasps> hmm. Let me... Wow. Where's the exit? I lost it. How is this possible? Oh. Eh, get up here. Scram. Um. It's me, young. He's the cutest. Yeah, he's pretty cute, all right. I really like this whole, like, aquarium wall into a bedroom. Like, that's awesome. You know what I mean? That's epic. Um. You have your Spanish final in 30 minutes and you're nervous? <gasps> Good luck! Good luck, man. Good luck. Wow, how beautiful. Lava? Since when? Hmm. Alright, guys. What should I build? Whoa. Those dolphins? Oh, that's nice. Hmm. I don't really know. Hmm. A cafe. 
Where are your pants? It's my skirt. It's my plate skirt. It's a mini skirt. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> um, build an animal. Honestly, we can build a small cafe over here. So what are we got? The world's looking lovely, Tina. Thanks, Jojo. Foolish built all of this. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I've never built anything like this in my life. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. But, you know. He's not- he's not often recruited for nothing. <laughs> um... Okay. Let's see. Maybe I will build a cafe. Hmm, so awkward. Where's my bed? Oh. <gasps> a witch? Bro. Surely there's a place to rest my weary eyes. My bones. Surely. I hate witches. Well, they just make it so tough. And like, dude, everything in hardcore is like way harder. At least they just do so much. I don't know how much damage they do exactly. It's always a little bit unexpected to me. I mean, surely there's a bed somewhere. What is this? Come on, foolish. Anything? Ugh, you're sick. Hmm well organized to who would have thunk not a safe place to rest my weary bones how could he do this to me and i'm on the brink of starvation i hope you're happy foolish gamers ah <sighs> The red candle and the black one. I tried to switch it up a little, you know, shrugs. <laughs> what can I say? Interior. Carl's is on the ship. Oh, yeah, that's... Okay, yeah, 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 that's a good idea. I'll go there. Oh, there's... <gasps> Chicken. I'm a vegetarian in Minecraft, guys. You know the drill. Is there a boat anywhere? Holy, did I... Did I swim? Why did I do that? Hmm. You mean pescatarian? Yeah, I'm pescatarian. Wait, what if Carl doesn't have food on this boat? I'm screwed. Okay. No, surely someone has something. Heart of the sea? Glisten. When did they get all of that? Can you eat kelp? Goat horn? Uh, guys, where's the food? Am I a bad person if I eat a glistening melon slice? Can you make those? Ah, uh, Sragumi and Zolales. Hay bales. Oh. There was a hay bale in the chest. Oh, I didn't even see these. Thanks, guys. What am I doing? Um, um, crafting table. Where was it? It was up this right here. Oh god, I have to cook it? You're lying. Okay. Bread. Hmm. Oh. Uh. Uh, why are we yelling? Oh, I don't know. Are, are we yelling? God, that was that was a moment, a t classic Tina moment. Um, hmm. 
Honestly, I might as well just make bread with the rest of it. I don't know why I'm saving it all up. What can I say? I'm a little frugal sometimes. <sighs> why don't you use the webcam? Um, I don't know. I don't think it's necessary sometimes. I guess, I suppose. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I was going to go sleep. Oh my god, I forgot. I wonder what it would be like to play Minecraft if, um, I was medicated. Like, what would I not get distracted so much? And would I be able to build stuff, actually? I would- I wonder what that's like. <laughs> hmm. Oh, not high. <laughs> oh, Vivi Cafe. This is the 16 months. Thank you, thank you. Um, your sleep schedule is insane. It's the lack of one that's crazy, I guess. I suppose. <sighs> Little totem. Wait, what? <laughs> Little totem. Who's that? Sus painting. This one? I think it's fine. This is like the corner. Oh, a buried treasure map. What the heck? So then they have that. <gasps> Cat person. Thanks for the 32 months. Thank you. Thanks, cat person. 32 months is a heckin' long time. Hmm. All right, let's see. Uh, Isabel in a daze. Eve Network, thank you. Hmm. Okay, yeah, maybe I'll build a cafe. But his buildings are so big, bro. How am I supposed to build anything? And like, what would I want it to look like, you know? Uh, strawberry jam thanks for the gifted thank you hmm small doesn't mean bad fair enough oh my god the horse bartender he's give he's giving me a drink um whoa hello Oh, it looked like there was ooze. Ah, uh, Nymph, thanks for the 14 months. I'm drinking pokery sweat right now. <sighs> okay. Well, first things first. We need, um... What is this? Oak. <laughs> All my oak trees are at home. Gloomy Christina, thanks for the 19 months. Thank you. What is your favorite drink? Um, coffee, probably. I'm a coffee fiend. Your favorite movie as of late? I will say like one of my favorite movies that, <gasps> that, that I feel like is just like a, a good classic that just always makes me feel good, gets a little chuckle out of me, is um Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <gasps> Mystical Sings! Thanks for the five gifted! What the heck? Thanks, Mystical Sings. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, thanks. Five new chatters can enjoy our brand new emo Tina Key bed. Tina Key woke. Classic. It is a classic one. I love it so much. Coffee's so overrated. Dude, I don't think so. Like, um, like a pour over? I love pour overs. It's basically like. Like, everybody was like, yeah, but, like, with tea, there's so many different flavors. Like, I feel like with pour-over, there's so many different, like, ways to, like, I don't know, just tastes different every time. 
Olsen, thanks for the 11 months. Thank you. Like, I love asking, like, what's what's the little pour-over method today? Like, uh, what, what, do, what do we got going on? And they'll be like, oh, today we have, like, a, a Colombian brew. This one's, uh, really, it's got, like, little fruity notes. And I'm like, oh, scrumptious. And it's really good every time. Really good. What anime do you watch? Right now, I'm watching... Oh, I forgot what it's called. Oshi no Ko or something? I think. Hmm. Um. Uh, the fr yeah, you just started watching it. I haven't seen um this. I fell asleep during the second episode because I was just really tired at the time and I don't know what it is but every time I'm in Myung's room I just pass out and I feel so bad because at that point I'm like it's free real estate and I just go in her room to fall asleep and then I leave basically. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't, okay, okay, I can't get distracted. I gotta get oak saplings. Or, on second thought, I'll just cut them. Um, unbreaking. What are what does unbreaking do again? Like how do you make but but it does break. Feels like kind of a weird um a weird thing to call it if it breaks. I don't know. <laughs> like that's not what I would choose to call it, but okay. I would call it breaks a little bit later. Mm. Unbreaking, more durability, mending. Yeah, I, I, I was scared that this had mending on it. Because I was like, ooh, shouldn't I like be careful about the way I use it then? They should call it slower breaking. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not like it doesn't break. Hmm. Is this tree just buried in leaves? You like any sports? Oh, it's honey. Um. I don't... Hmm. Sports. I mean, I guess soccer is fun to watch if it's on. Because I understand it a little more. Um. Hmm. Kinza. Hi. <laughs> yeah, soccer is good. Hmm. Maybe I should get some pies. I wish these would grow even if I wasn't like, I don't know, close. Mm. Stream so peaceful, isn't it? Isn't it so calming? Calming and relaxing, smile dog. just got your wisdom teeth out. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That's terrible. So calming. I fall asleep. Me, 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 me. Oh, good. Perfect. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> Whenever I play hardcore, I'm always stressed. I, I think I would be more stressed if I didn't have, like, all the stuff that I have right now. I definitely have, like, just... I don't know. I think Sam and Foolish just made me a lot more rich in this game than I should be because there's just no way I would get so many of these things by myself, but... They got them, so... I'm rich now, and safer than I would be. Hmm. Yep. Just a, a little rich, I suppose. Shrugs. And like, you've died once already? I haven't died. I haven't died yet. I think I'm the only one that hasn't. Right? I don't know. I can't remember. She's just a rich girly shrug. Yeah. Yes, I am. I never type in chat for your great streamer. <laughs> Man, thanks, man. Really needed to hear that, man. <gasps> I've been a bad egg lately. <sighs> the worst. Hmm. Hmm. Don't say that. I mean, I think it's like... I don't know. I think for as long as I can remember. Like, especially since I started, like, attempting full-time, right? I've always just had, like, incredible amounts of, like, self-doubt and stuff. But the thing is, like, everybody kind of does. Um, and you kind of just have to do it anyways. And it's all about not listening you know but i will say that i just get crazier the more i stay up really late so right now my brain is so malleable and sensitive like it'll just it just soaks up like any thought really like a sponge so i just have to be extra gentle when i'm a little bit more sleep deprived because you can't really trust your own brain when you're tired, you know? And like, when your feelings are like super elevated and you just... I don't know, if you ever start to think like everybody hates you, like, there's some really good advice out there that basically says like... Never trust anything you think about yourself past 2am, you know? Like... And it's, it's honestly kind of true. Like, if you start feeling like garbage, just, oh my, if you can, go to bed, you know? And if you can't, take your thoughts with a grain of salt, you know? Um. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a good way to, like, I don't know if you overthink things. Ah, uh, spell gamer thanks to 15 months. Thank you. Hmm. But do you get the opposite sometimes? Like, well, I'm the best. Um, yeah, I would say that, like, dude, I'm one of those people that has, like, really high highs and really low lows. Like, like, I'll feel, like, super happy and, like, oh, hmm, self-confidence wise. I don't know, actually. My confidence has always needed a little bit of work, I think. Like, I'll be- I can be, like, proud of myself, but I don't know if I ever feel like I'm the best at anything. Uh, Gucci, Gary, Nixon, thanks the 13 months! Thank you! Um... Yeah, I've, I- I would say I have pretty, um... I don't know. I don't have, like, great esteem. Mooncat closes. He thinks of the 12 months. One year! 
If you feel like you hate everyone, get a snack. If you feel like everyone hates you, you take a nap. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> would you ever go on Dr. K? Mm, I don't know if I would. I think I would like... I don't like unpacking my stuff in front of people. I already kind of do sometimes. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I also just think like, um, like, uh, if, if you can handle it, but I don't like when people have anything to say like if someone were to like say stuff or like have like certain thoughts or criticisms about like me being like vulnerable or unpacking then it would just like i think it would tilt me you know what i mean because <laughs> um i think like i guess one of the things about the internet is like if you put yourself out there, people will take that as consent to give you their two cents, even though you didn't necessarily ask for it. And then it's always just so much, like, just a bit, it's a bit extra. I'm like, I just, I try not to put myself out there in ways where I just don't want anyone's two cents on it. You know, like, um, that's all. Thank you for the sub. Aw, oh, man, it's so polite. <laughs> you love to see it. Yeah, I, I know that I'm not. I wouldn't be great at handling feedback that I didn't ask for. I'll be a little touchy, maybe. I'll be like a quest. <laughs> and I don't want to be like sassy to people, especially when like sometimes I think people don't have like bad intentions. They just don't realize, you know? Um, I guess, like, the gravity of, like, too much input from too many different sources. It makes you feel like a public social experiment, and it's, like, it, it, when it's, like, given to you in that amount, it almost feels less personable, like, you know, I don't know. <sighs> yeah. Hmm. I mean, like, this isn't just, like, um... I mean, it's not just, like, a, a social media person thing. It's also, like, a... Uh, it, it can apply to literally any anybody, honestly. Like, one of those... I think one of those, like, situations where... I don't know, like, you ever sometimes, like, you just want to speak to somebody and have your feelings, like, validated. And they're just immediately jumping and trying to find solutions before you can even really, like, feel comfortable <laughs> just sitting there. I don't know, like, um, ah, oh, dude, I was, I was, like, watching a video lately about this one person that was talking about like um i mean do i need more oak logs maybe that's me loki i mean i i think it's like you know people that do that they don't necessarily like again i don't think people like actually think like oh like that's like not what someone wants or like like you know you're you are trying to be like helpful i think um but yeah, I was reading this one thing and it was like kind of like a discussion about like those, there's like people out there that are like, well, facts don't care about your feelings and like people that, I mean, you've grown up with like some people like this that um, they think that just because they think logically, all of a sudden that makes them more intelligent than you. <laughs> and it's kind of interesting because like, I, I feel like when you have like quote unquote logical solutions, right? That don't factor in like human emotions. It's not a very logical solution because you can't just, 
I don't know, put empathy aside and not think about how society would react to like, you know, these like wide scale like solutions that you're trying to propose. Like it, you have to, people are going to feel, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. And like ignoring or like choosing to not have empathy because you think that all of a sudden like makes you smarter and it's just like the one way to go about it like it's just you're you're gonna end up with like a bunch of solutions that might work in i don't know it, it just wouldn't work here you know what i mean hmm so, I don't know. Ugh, it's just, there's so much branches. There's so many branches over there. Like, I'm just not dealing with that. That's too much. Ugh, but it's just gonna be dirty and just... I don't know. It's it's just so... Okay, fine. Where is it? Oh, it was here. Oh, man. What a mess. Um... It's like when people say it's a business's decision to try to justify bad business practices. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. I feel like similarly when it comes to like AI stuff too these days, like, I don't know. They're like, oh, but we're bettering like the future society. Like think of all the cool things that like we're going to be able to do with AI. And like, I totally get that. I really do. Like, I think like there's a world where like, you know, we use it for really cool things, but, oh, I just don't think, like, the law catches up, you know? Like, that, the whole thing with, like, I don't know, like, a lot of people don't consent to having their art or their written works to be fed into the AI so that it can learn. You know, how to basically like make, oh, hello. Also, I, I don't, I don't love AI making art, but maybe it's just cause, okay, where am I, Jesus? What, hello, hello, I'm lost and it's really dark. Oh, this isn't good. I don't have a bed with me. All right, we'll get the shield out. Fine, I'm scared. Um, build up. Bro, what? Guys. Okay, it's over there. Oh no. I just, okay. I don't like when, I don't want AI to take the jobs that people like doing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can't you just make it do the shit that nobody wants to do? Why do you gotta take away the happy parts of, like, the human experience, you know? Hmm... Mm-hmm. Okay, we made it home! Perfect. Is it bad to feel sorry for AI? I mean, I, um, I don't know if AI is like conscious right now. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if it's, there's anything to feel bad for yet. Hmm. I feel like AI will never completely remove the value of artists in terms of writing or painting though. Um, mm -mm. 
I mean, I think it... Hmm... Sometimes I feel like artists are already like super undervalued though. I feel like the curve is really like weird, but maybe that's just how I feel like... I don't know. But maybe I'm just thinking globally, like especially when people like outsource animations, like sometimes they're just really not paid that well and there's like crazy amounts of crunch and stuff. Uh, Ned takes the 17 months. Out. Um, are you alone on that server? I am. I think being an artist for a job will hurt for profit margins, but for art's own sake as an expression, it won't ever go away. No, I think that's true. Like, there's a lot of things, like, even today, that just have a bit more value to it because a person made it instead of, like, a quote unquote, like, um, a person that made it with a machine. You know, like sweaters, for instance. Like, you could make a sweater with a machine, but, like, some people just would love, like, a hand crocheted sweater or blanket and they'll pay a lot of money for it because it's handmade like that you know um Ricky thinks of the two months um like i i would uh, agree with that much but again i'm just i'm not really an expert but i don't know i feel like i follow a good amount of artists and i just i've been seeing like I don't know that uh, dude it's kind of weird because like some AI like photos look pretty real and they definitely make me do double takes like I'm like oh that looks really cool but like I had to clock it for a second there like it just you know I don't know hmm Do I have a lot of- I mean, I don't know if, like, just a couple stacks of oak is enough. You know? AI photos becoming more realistic is dangerous. More than helpful in anyone. Well, I just think it's, like, not good if there's, like, no laws protecting, like, people around stuff like that, you know? Like, identity fraud and things like that. Like, that's horrifying. <laughs> like, it just, it hurts so many people, and it already has. And it's just the beginning. It's, like, upsetting. Um, but there are really cool things that you can do with AI. <laughs> Let me talk about the things that I like about them before this gets way too depressing. I read somewhere that if you wanted a meal plan and you wanted to maybe have AI build out a little meal plan for the week where you can like... If, and if you have any like restrictions, like you're like, I don't like onions, can you make me an entire meal plan for the week? Um, with different things every single day with um, no more than five ingredients per meal. Like, it can make you something like that, which is kind of nice for people that, like, maybe lack, um, organization or, like, planning skills. It can make you schedules and things like that. And, like, like, that's pretty awesome, right? Like, a, a home derby. Like, yeah, like, I think stuff like that is really cool and, you know, it, it helps people and doesn't, like, it's not, like, hurting anyone, like, um, but... Like, I would assume it probably hurts the people that write the recipes. I think it- I mean, I don't know... I, I, I don't have too much experience. My experience with AI is just reading about it. And other people's experiences reading, like, about their experiences. Um, maybe me on using it for writing a Minecraft apology about some lag monster. Um, and then also, you know, just people getting assaulted by making false 
you know, obviously garbage <laughs> with it. Um, so, I don't know. Drugs. I don't know. I only like the AI where they type my emails. Oh. <laughs> It's brand new. There's no good answer for how to use it yet. I mean, I just wish that like before, I don't know. I really want like the law to hurry. The law needs to hurry up. It's like even before AI was super popular, it still hasn't like caught up for like, I don't know, just protecting people that are on it, you know? AI is an issue in schools with kids using it to write essays. I've heard about that. That's honestly, oh my God, I would hate to be a teacher right now and deal with that. Is it all gone? Um, Elise, thanks for the 24 months, the two years. Congratulations. Oh my goodness, yay! Thank you! Keep you harmony, thanks for the 17 months. Is it all gone, guys? I don't know. Oh my god, it's not all gone. Anyways, I don't want to talk about AI too much, especially because, like, I just am. I don't know, I hate speaking too much about stuff that I'm, like, not well versed in. Because then, if I ever become, like, more knowledgeable about it, and then I go back in the past and I have to listen to myself, it makes me so upset. I'm like, what am I saying? <laughs> hmm. Kina's voice is like a pat on the back helping you calm down. Dude, when I watch like ASMR videos, uh, I want to do ASMR, but I can't do that thing. Like, I don't know. I feel like they make a lot more spit than I do. <laughs> I just don't know how to do all that. I don't make that much spit, but I'm also like very dehydrated all the time. You prefer calm talking than whispers? Um, what ASMR artists do you watch? Um, I don't remember her. I mean, I could look it up right now. Let me see. The person that I watch is called... Um... <gasps> oh god. Oh, Jossie? Josie? Jossie? She says besitos at the end of her video descriptions. <laughs> besitos. Besitos. Mm. Mm -hmm. What time did you fall asleep? Um, I went to bed yesterday. I don't remember. Besitos. Yes. Hmm. Good evening from the Philippines. Oh my gosh, good evening. Wait, what time is it in the Philippines right now? Eleven fifteen PM. Oh. Interesting. Wait, so this actually is like falling asleep streams, I guess. It's a bunch of old men who don't even understand Facebook. No, honestly. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's the AM on my end. Oh. 
Oh, your EST then? Oh, Halsa Town. Thanks for gifting us up to VGs. Hmm. I need to sleep, but then I can't watch anymore. Oh, I always like, um, put it on like my phone against the charger on my wall and then I sleep. Or I actually have like a, I haven't set up my short throw projector since I lived in Vegas, but um, I think like once I clean my room like to its fullest, um, I'm basically going to set up my projector again. And then I'm just gonna have big comfy streams on the wall at all times. Um, Minecraft music makes me feel s sad and it's nostalgic. I mean, tomorrow maybe we can listen to jazz. Actually, I think my dresser is coming soon, so I don't know if I can go live tomorrow. Pinza, did you sign up for MCC Pride? I haven't signed up for an MCC in 50 years. Please. Yeah, we can have Jazz Fridays! Hmm... Anyone thought of aiming a projector at the ceiling? I think that would be cool, but at the same time... I think, um... So, the best way to sleep is lying on your back, right? I would hate for... To lie in the best possible sleeping position... And be forced to look at, like... Like, have, um... Light reflected back at me while i'm sleeping upright you know so i think like um if i really want to sleep i like that it's projected towards the wall so that when i am sleeping in the optimal sleep position i'm rewarded with less light blasting my face as i lie to rest you know i hate lying on my back i can never sleep in that position oh, honestly it's really hard like, um, I love sleeping fetal position with my face, like, squished against the pillow and, like, hugging something. But, um, I don't know. It is, like, the best. I don't know, uh, like, something about my face being, like, squished, like, just the side of it. I'm like, ugh. I just feel comfy. Your Spanish pronunciation is so good whenever you said besitos. Dude, I change my voice when I speak Spanish, I think, on accident. And I do it in Korean, too. I can't help it. I think it's because I'm so, sh like, shy when I speak other languages because it happened in Japan also. Uh, Grace Butterfly, thanks for the 11 months. I just get, like... A nervous? I don't know. And so I almost feel more confident if I change my voice a little bit. Um. Uh. Like I feel like I have a different brain. I do it in French too. It's definitely normal. Okay, good. Because I feel like in English, my voice is deeper and you know, it's got gravel. Sometimes, maybe. <laughs> oh my god, so much chat. What the fuck is a peepo cute? It's an emote! Yupika, thanks for the sub! Thank you! Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> hmm. The aggressive tone. Oh. I don't know. I'm like one of those people where I feel like my voice changes so much based on like how I'm feeling, you know? Like, I think if I'm, like, really cozy, it's, like, deeper. 
but if I'm like really excited, it's like high. Higher, maybe? Mm. Uh, my happy voice is definitely like like higher but I don't know I mean it, I, I feel like that would be normal actually the more I think about it hmm hmm Wood cutting. Oh, I feel like I've been wood cutting for ages. Can we get much higher? Yeah, I, dude. Okay, you know how like your voice to you always sounds way deeper, like to you than it does to anyone else, because it's literally like vibrating in your head, kind of. So like you don't really hear it the way you actually sound. When I hear myself back, it sounds so, like, shrill to me. I actually can't stand it. I can't do it at all. It's terrible. It gives me crazy whiplash. I'm like, literally, who is that? <laughs> oh, a lot of wood down there. I think there's a way to hear yourself um without um without it i think you have to um so take your hands right and um have your palms facing your face you know uh lt mazov thanks for the prime you have your palms like facing your face kind of and your pinky bones your pinky bones right you're like just basically hold them up flat and then hold them you know kind of like where your temples are or like the um the high part of your like cheekbone is like right before your ear you just hold your hands down flat oh god it, oh e jesus you just do a little like squeeze you know what i mean yeah you should probably take your glasses off um, so, like, I don't know, basically, like, just cover your ears, like, flat, like this, kind of. Oh my god, I, I heard it, that's crazy. Like, from home alone. Well, no, 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 don't block your ears, don't, don't cover your ears. Um, here, let me see. Like, you basically should be able to see, um, Hmm. Ah, oh, it's hard to think. Like a fish. Yeah, like if you were to have outstretched gills, you know what I mean? Um So like you hold your hands out and put your pinkies together, then you just separate them, move them back, and press against that bone right before your ear with your pinkies. I just you sound a little bit higher. Just a little bit. At least I, I do. And I'm like, damn, who is that? I wish you guys could hear the way I hear myself. I think it sounds a lot more velvety and nice. But then when I do the ear thing, it just sounds crunchy and bad. I'm like, oh god, who is that? Clavicles rice, thanks for the 14 months. It's been pretty long. Yeah, it's been pretty long. So lovely to us. Oh, you know what? Thank you. What the heck? Hmm. What a good egg you are. <gasps> Talking into a spinning fan to go robotic. Ah, oh, dude. When I think of when I. Man. Um, I don't know. When I talk into a spinning fan, I, it makes me think about, like, my childhood at my grandparents' house. Um. Because 
because I feel like I would do that a lot during like hot summer days and in my like um grandparents house we didn't really have like AC I think when I was younger maybe we didn't or maybe it was like expensive and we didn't use it so I, we would just sit there with like little tank tops on in front of the fan um and I don't know to stay cool we would have like a lot of ice cream <laughs> like little popsicles from the the corner store and I would go ah I am a robot <laughs> like in front of the the fan all the time <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Beep boop. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Ah. Uh. Good. Uh. I miss my grandparents. Well, grandma. <sighs> Makes me like, I don't know, sad that I don't speak Korean. I kind of wish I never moved to the States when I was younger. But maybe, I don't know. Because it wasn't even like... I don't know, I literally moved for like four years and then went back and in those four years I lost my fluent Korean. <laughs> That's terrible. Do your grandparents know what you do for work? I don't... well... My grandpa actually passed away. Like, um... I guess like during like COVID times. Uh, and it was so bad cause like he lived in Korea and I couldn't go visit him and it made me so sad. Uh. Oh my God, it was, <laughs> dude, I don't know. I don't know if this is like something that I should even say <laughs> cause it feels like, <laughs> like crazy when I think about it. <laughs> But like, I just, I don't know. I remember, I think this was a really big, like, <laughs> oh my God, this is so dumb. <laughs> but like, it was a really big, like, lore day, I guess, for like, um, like Dream SMP, right? And I had found out that he passed away that morning. <laughs> And I was like, are people going to think I just don't care about the experiences that I've been given with like maybe the server if I don't log on and do lore right now? <laughs> and I was like, I mean, maybe I'll try it. <laughs> and it was so, oh my God. Oh my god, it was so weird, cause like... Bruh, oh my god, if I think about it, it makes me like... Ugh. I don't know. Well, I did log on, because I'm crazy! <laughs> and then I was like, oh no! Dream's out of prison! <laughs> And I'm like, okay, I don't know if I can do this anymore. <laughs> like, could you imagine how crazy that is? I was like, bro, people are gonna think I'm ungrateful that I don't care about anything. So I gotta like get around and clutch up, <laughs> do Minecraft role play. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, oh my god, it was like... <laughs> oh, I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know. It was like, well, the thing is, like, I was I'm, in in I don't know, Dream of MP. I was such an NPC, like I don't, I didn't really like have lore. But I was like, oh god, like they've definitely like said my name a couple times. Like maybe I should at least like you know perform my, like my like NPC duties, you know, and like get on and be in the background. <laughs> Can you imagine how awkward it would be if all the animes like that you watch just didn't have background characters? It would look really like, you know, I don't know. But yeah, I think I feel a little more. I don't know if I've ever said that before. I can't remember if I have. <laughs> but. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But I just remember feeling like, why did I do that? Like, it was so weird. Like, <laughs> it was such a weird thing for me to do. And I was like, is my grandpa like watching me right now for like up above? Like, girl, you just found out and you're really playing Minecraft? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> like, can you imagine? <laughs> Bro. Ugh. Wait, did I just strip wood and then... Oh my god. Yeah. Oh no. Ugh. <sighs> Uh, the light hinted. Thanks for the 10 gifted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, make sure you give them a nice little flower, especially if you got gifted a sub. You knew you were on the grind set. I didn't even go live because I was like, I'll probably like explode. But I was like, I'll just log on because like, I don't know. I, I think sometimes like there's a lot of main characters and like sometimes maybe people don't know who to bounce off of and i was like if anyone just wants to bounce off of me i'll like i'll definitely like be around to throw people some bones you know i'll be like oh no you know like that's what i like envisioned in my brain because there was i wasn't really like um a part of that lord to be honest but i was like i did just want to show because it was like a big day for everybody and i was like oh just you know <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't really cope with like, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't like to cope with like, um, just like in front of people, like maybe like on streams and stuff, Be especially when I'm not ready to joke about it because like, I have always felt like it was like, I, I think it's good to have feelings, right? And obviously be um, really transparent that I feel sad just like everybody else. And I don't like being, like, toxic and, like, positively toxic. Like, um, but I don't like streaming to be comforted. Like, I, I feel like it's my job to do the opposite, you know? Like, to be there for people that watch, you know? Cause I, I don't know. I'm not trying to like <laughs> go live and trauma dump. I'll be like, all right, see you guys. Like that's so weird. I don't know. But like, I don't know. You should get a totem. I mean, I kind of want one. <laughs> but I don't know. You guys like, I think. I don't know. Without even like, I don't. I mean, I don't know. You guys comfort me all the time without like directly talk without like us like directly talking about like our problems or whatever i don't know i just like when i see your like little cat memes sometimes or like your reaction images i'm like oh <laughs> like it's just cute i don't know ah uh, yeah I don't know. Sorry if the grandpa thing was a little much. Maybe it was a little. I don't know. I can't really tell. <laughs> I 
I just kind of more so thought it was like, like looking back on it, it's kind of funny to me because I'm like, why was I doing that? Like nobody really would have like it. It was it would not have been a big deal if I didn't log on, but like, I don't know. It was just kind of funny. Like, I just arrived. I'm very confused. Okay, I guess like TLDR. Um, the day I found out my uh my grandpa passed away <laughs> there was dream smp lore very big dream smp lore and i was like am i supposed to log on right now <laughs> and i did and it was like really weird and i feel like it was weird if i like I, I i don't know i never watched it back but and i don't think i like really interacted with anybody like oh my i think wait didn't i interact with Hannah during the stream? Maybe? Oh, why am I trying to sleep? It's not nighttime. I think she did. Oh my god, bless her. She was so enthusiastic. I was like, I was like uh huh, yeah, we gotta go and, and, and stop him. <laughs> I was like, bro, what the what am I saying? <laughs> it was just like, not the right time for me. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, bro. <laughs> a true NPC just waits for the others to start the interaction. I know. I was like waiting to give a quest. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, good times. Hmm. W sheep, I know, dude. Peony's the, the I'm. Oh well, if you if you guys don't know, this is Peony, and she's basically like the reason why this whole little area started. Also, this looks so terrible. I want to change it. Um, but Peo, well, somebody named her Pepperoni, but that's besides the point. Listen, she, I found her here in a field of like peonies, and pink sheep are so rare. Like my, I was like. Oh my god that's a really rare sheep like pink sheep and i was like oh, really and so i started building this house with her nearby yeah patagonia dude i love patagonia as a company actually like i think they would be like a dream sponsor for me but i actually don't know if it's within their moral compass to like sponsor me to then ask people to like buy more of their stuff like i think they're kind of a buy what you need brand <laughs> so i totally get it if you don't want it patagonia i totally get that but like if you're ever interested like i'll give you I'll slide you my card or whatever <laughs> they apparently they sell fish like patagonia provisions or something like tinned fish do you guys like do you guys get tinned fish talk on your for you page Like, welcome to Tin Fish Talk. Today's fish of the day is. Wait, yeah, I do. <laughs> Dude, it's kind of interesting. Like, it's like, like artisanal canned fishes that are like maybe more sustainably harvested, kind of, you know. Cause like, um, I don't know, dude. There's a really crazy statistic about how like a lot of the plastic in the ocean is actually from irresponsible fishing. And how a lot of fishermen will just like dump massive nets and and waste from the fishing process into the ocean and just leave it there <laughs> and it's like actually crazy like a really huge percentage of it and i was like that is just a stat i wish i was almost blissfully ignorant of but now that i know i have to make a very conscious effort to like try to maybe buy more sustainable fishes i suppose <sighs> hmm have you guys seen the guy box but am amazonian forest uh, you're the wait i i don't know if, 
I know about like this guy that walks through the Everglades. He said, hey guys, welcome back again to another day in the Everglades. He said, this old rascal here and it's like a crocodile. <laughs> I'm like, sir? And he said, duh, forgot to buy bug spray. And he's just like in a thick cloud <laughs> of every insect in the insect like Wikipedia page. <laughs> like I was like, oh my God, what are you doing? <laughs> The Everglades guy is just, oh my, dude, he's made of nightmares. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, he has no shoes on. He raw dogs the Everglades and I just can't do it. And he's treating like, I don't know, like crocodiles. Like they're like little lizards. I'm like, dude, you're crazy, man. A raw dogging the Everglades. No, literally. Um, hmm. You worked there? You worked at the <laughs> Everglades? Huh? No shoes in the Everglades? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hmm. Guys, I wish the US had like high speed railway systems. Really bad. I want some trains. Mm -hmm. I want trains. I want trains like in Asia. Where the seats are clean and nice and the ticket is really easy to get. And it's like affordable and it takes you so far for so little. <laughs> but where would the government put the parking lot? I don't know, next to the tracks. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, USA Public Transportation, my aboard. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's always the honey, dude. It like startles me. Hmm. I've been getting wood for a really long time now. Hmm. They need space for the super Walmarts. Yeah. My thing is like, even when the US does have public transportation, I just find it to be so dirty and it feels so like, cramped and unsafe like in new york i've just seen so many videos of like when it floods i'm like how do you expect people to go down into sewage water when they need to get home like not everybody can afford a cab like cabs are a lot mm. i don't know i'm definitely spoiled by like Korea public transportation for sure. Hmm. It's high key the government's perception of who uses public transportation. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like I don't know. It's it's like I don't they they think that like people with like lower income don't deserve like clean tra like i don't know ways of transportation like it's just fucking weird to me like get some people to clean it up please please i don't know man Oh my god, dude, when I lived in Florida, I had to like walk my groceries home and it was a nightmare because I didn't know how to drive and I just moved there and I was like 19 and in Korea, I have to be 18 to drive. So obviously I didn't know how to drive because I don't know. Uh, darling, well, thanks for the 22 months. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, 
it's not so much as like a, a get people to clean it up and why do people leave so much i mean yeah obviously like a whole cultural shift needs to happen you know um it is like a cultural thing on top of like but i will say it's also just kind of easier to keep something clean when it's clean like it's like you know like uh, you could leave it clean yeah but like even people that like need to like i don't know they're just a lot of people just don't know how to keep things clean either but that's like something that has to be like taught like you would think like i mean for some people it's just like yeah obviously put something in a trash can but then like are are, are people gonna have to walk a really long ways before they find a single trash can or like <sighs> i don't know you know like you have to make these things like accessible to people Like, a lot of people in the U.S. don't know how to recycle properly. Like, apparently, if you don't take the labels off your water bottles and the caps off your water bottles, they won't recycle it, like, actually. Like, you have to take off all the little intricate parts before it's actually recycled. Which is just crazy, by the way. I, I wish there was maybe a different system, but, like... I don't, I don't know. It's just yeah yeah well for some recycling systems and for some recycling systems it's like not even a thing like it you can put it in a recycling and then they'll just throw it in the landfill because um yeah i don't know that's dumb like why did they not say that there's just like no education about like recycling here Be and like because of that I mean, imagine this, like, you work at a, like, recycling place. If anyone works at a recycling place, by the way, feel free to, like, correct me. But, like, if you get a whole bin of stuff that's just obviously not recyclable, what are you gonna do? Like, fish through, like, a thousand bottles to find one bottle that you can actually, like, recycle? You're probably just gonna throw the whole thing in a landfill as soon as you see that on the surface layer, everything just has food on it. Everything has, like, their wrappers still on it you know so i don't know so it's just yeah i don't know but then like maybe in other countries right they'll be like all right here's how you recycle this this and this and this like i remember in korea we have like food bins like oh my dude compost bins smelled so bad they smelled terrible when everyone would just throw food trash in it was like my worst nightmare like it makes me like gag if i think about it it's so disgusting but like we had a compost um bin like we had separate food trash and we had paper trash we even had like a textile bin where you could like throw clothes away if you had to like if it was like not like you couldn't drop it off at a thrift store we had cardboard, we had aluminum, glass, and also plastic, and then like um, thinner plastic, like the wrapper kind, like just a bunch of different stuff. So, but then I go into the US after living in Korea for like 10 years and everybody's just throwing it all in one bin. I was like mortified. I was like, hello? the food bits are still on your garbage like wait we don't separate it and it just it takes up so much like like food i think the nice thing about like separating your trash is the smelly bits is actually like really small like the compost bin is like tiny i'm so thirsty jesus oh my god um. Um, uh, guys, I have to come clean. This is a dress. It's not overalls. <laughs> it's, it's a dress. 
I never lied. I just did not want to correct all these people that drew me in overalls. Because I was like... A lot of people... Okay, you know what it is? I think it's because the person that... Okay, bless the person that made this. They're so sweet. They, like, they... I, I don't know. I can't find them anymore because they, like... Just, like, abandoned their Instagram account. But anyways, like, they were like, Here, I made this for you. Because this was when I used my Prismo skin from Adventure Time. It was just this, like, pink skin or whatever. And everyone was like, Ew, Tina, what is that? And I was like, It's Prismo. <laughs> And so, this person, he made me a skin, and I was like, wow, thank you! So, I've... I, I remember, I'm trying to think about... What, it looks so short? Yeah, I made it short, because I'm a... I just like short stuff, you know? <laughs> um, but... Yeah... <laughs> I... It's a dress. It's a dress. Mm. Oh, dude, I need more water. Oh, I have it right here, actually. Ah. <laughs> okay. Um. It is a dress. I actually like the outfit that this is inspired off of. It's just like, I have it. It's like, but it's actually like periwinkle in person. And like this dress is like super lilac. Um. But yeah, I'm trying to stay hydrated. Sorry. I'm really thirsty. Make sure to wear pixel safety shorts. Oh, I like, I don't know. I always wear safety shorts under all my skirts and stuff. Just because I like to wear really short stuff. I just always wear shorts because it's just... I could be like super it's like wearing a skirt, you know. It no, it is like the character that I drew myself in exactly. <gasps> ah. Gee whiz. Holy cow. Bro is just making up words? No way. Why are you drowning? Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know. I think I struggle <laughs> drinking water. Without like... I don't know, like, how do you drink a lot and breathe? You kind of have to hold your breath, right? <sighs> hmm. <laughs> oh, fellas, look at us. Breathe through your nose. I'm a mouth breather. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> you just have to hype yourself up to drink water. I kind of do sometimes. I, I don't love the experience too much. Um. Because like, well, I don't like the experience when I feel like people can hear me because I like gasp for air. Sometimes. <sighs> Tina, have you ever donated blood? Um, I haven't. I don't know if I'm allowed to. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I'm. I don't think I'm legible to donate. But 
Yeah, I, I remember because I wanted to when I lived in Florida. They were giving out um $15 Starbucks gift cards if you donated blood. And I was like fiending for anything that was free. <laughs> Um, so, I was like, oh my god, I have to donate money to a $50 Starbucks gift card. <laughs> and then, they were like, oh, they're like, probably not. And I was like, you know what, fair enough. Because when I lived in Florida, I was like emaciated, dude. I just ate beans and rice every day. <laughs> and to treat myself, maybe some chopped tomatoes. With some slap your mama seasoning mix. It was rough out there. <laughs> I could not I could not afford food. <laughs> so bad. Oh, yeah, but guys, I'm better now. I eat plenty. <laughs> yeah, I dude, I don't know. I just I was like doing I was an absolute like coupon clipper when I was like nineteen. I was like I would, like, get the grocery store, like, thing, and I would, like, look through all the coupons all the time. And every single time, I would, like, I would, like, find, like, online sales for grocery store, like, delivery, like, Asian groceries. I would, like, wait and, like, I would treat myself with, like, um, stuff like that. And then, I don't know. One of my favorite things to eat, um was like Japanese curry, I guess. Cause like the most expensive part was like the roux cube. But root vegetables were like super cheap. Like I get like a whole bag of onions and like a whole bag of potatoes, like russet potatoes. And then like a whole bag of like uh, carrots, right? And so then I would just have like, I would have like Japanese curry like that and I would make like rice. And it was like the best meal ever. It is homey and nostalgic. I feel like there's a lot of like random Tina lore out here that I like don't usually say, but like, you know, that's okay. It's kind of hidden. Curry is super good. I'm a big fan. I guess this is a wood collecting stream. Yeah, it's for my cafe. Oh my god, my tummy hurts. Why? <laughs> Erica, thanks for the three months. It's like dad lore. <laughs> yeah, yeah it is. Um, hmm. Oof. Did you eat anything? I... Hmm. I did. And leftovers. <laughs> um, what was the yummiest thing you had in Japan? Ooh, that's a really hard question. Um. <sighs> hmm. I'm trying to think. The yummiest thing I had. Hmm. I mean, there there were definitely a lot of like wagyu experiences that I got to try. Um, there was like this one place where we went, and they like we got to like sign our names on the wall. That was pretty cool. Ah, uh, Louise, thanks for the nineteen months, and they were really nice. And wagyu is a lot more affordable in Japan, like a lot more affordable by like a ton. It's kind of crazy. Like, Wagyu here isn't... I feel like in LA especially, Wagyu's like a buzzword now. And like, when you do get Wagyu here, it's not like actual Wagyu. I don't know. Um... Oh, 
Oh god. Oh. I thought it was expensive. It is just like um more affordable there than here because you know there's you don't have to fly it over. Um it's fun just seeing you as everyday people. Well um I am definitely like you know an everyday person. Um I don't know. I, I, I'm like, I don't know. I'm one of those people that would like hate to be put on a pedestal. You know what I mean? I get like scared of that actually. Like super scared. Especially because, um, I think with that comes like standards that I would never be able to like uphold, you know? I just think, I don't know. I think like, um, the human experience is to grow to change to inspire change in others learn about the people around you and i don't know like so it's like one of those things where it's just i i've never been like a perfect human being and i just would never want to like represent myself in that way because i just think it's like so misleading and i don't know it's like one of those things where it's like i don't want anybody to think anybody's like born into this world unable to make mistakes because <laughs> then they would just be like so unforgiving to themselves you know and that's just like not something that i would want to inspire within people Hmm. How many logs? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think I'm just people talking. Did you eat leftover beans? Okay, I got these beans that were in a can. Um, they were like black beans, I think. Um, and yeah. I would get avocado sometimes if they were on sale. Yeah, Goya beans. And I would make rice. And I would eat the beans. <laughs> and the rice. And then I would chop tomatoes and put it in there sometimes. Um. Let's see. Have you had black bean soup? Uh, black beans on rice go crazy. It, they do, and it's just such an affordable meal. Like, it, it would fill me up like crazy, and it would be like, I don't know, a dollar fifty to eat. I was like, holy, that's kind of awesome. The dollar fifty a meal. I really did that. It was epic. And then, like, bananas. You know, they're a really good, like, snack with, like, compostable packaging and whatnot. Also quite filling. I would get a lot of eggs. Eggs were great. <clears throat> yeah, eggs. Oh, God. I did kind of have, like, a lot of instant noodles, too. And I ate spam sometimes. Hmm... Buy compostable packaging, do you mean the banana peel? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Ah, Samki, thanks for the tier one. Thank you. Deforestation stream. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I think, like, the coffee scene in Japan is really nice. I, I just feel like the standard for food in Japan is so high. Like, the baseline of, like, ingredients just feels better. Like, fruit there is so different and actually tastes really good. <laughs> like, strawberries don't have, like, that bitter taste. They just taste, like, sweet. You know how, like, when you bite into a strawberry, there's, like, that white middle part and it's, like, a little bit, like, sour, bitter-ish, kind of, and it, like 
sometimes when you get strawberries at the store that's like the most of the strawberry but then when you you know when you have like just the edge of a strawberry it's like the red flesh kind of um and it's like the sweetest part and it's like i don't know in in asia i feel like the entire strawberry is like that but strawberries in the states are like just not good like i don't know Mm. Uh, are strawberries bitter in America? They're definitely super bitter and like more bland in the US than elsewhere. And I feel like they just mold so fast. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Anything doesn't taste good if you think it's something different. Mmm. You know, I don't know if that logic really holds to food. Because, like, there's definitely, I think that the same thing kind of goes with, like, eggs, too. Um, eggs in the U.S. are just, like, un unless you get, like, pasture-raised they're super like the yolks are just like the palest yellow things i've ever seen and they just kind of taste a little weird milk in the u.s just tastes weird too actually it tastes um i don't know how to explain it just doesn't taste right hmm it's not necessarily bland it just doesn't taste as like fresh i don't know how to explain it i mean i guess i am explaining it mm, that's so many logs dude i'm honestly having a great time chopping trees like this is my bread and butter i would do this every day if i could mm, i like the milk here dude I used to love milk when I was younger. I don't think I would drink milk even if I didn't live in the US. Like, I'm just not like a milk drinker anymore. But, um, it is just so, um, is it actually hardcore? It is. It is actually hardcore. Um, but plain milk, like, in Asia is really not that bad. Like, it's actually pretty good. Like, it tastes fresh. Like, it, I guess one way that I would try to describe it is like milk here leaves me feeling like there's a like a little bit of a an aftertaste and like there's a bit of a a texture left on your tongue still but I feel like at least the milk that I have in Korea it's it actually tastes a little bit more refreshing and like there's like a cleaner aftertaste to it like it doesn't taste like it would linger on your tongue as much you know what i mean like it just it doesn't stay there <laughs> you know i don't know um different milk brands from different stores can taste very different they really can i mean i would i would try them all out i i don't know i think like eggs in the u.s that i really like that are typically available in like most grocery stores i kind of like i've been enjoying um vital farms um the infrastructure required to feed the size of the United States makes a lot of food processing very different from smaller countries. Um, you know, I just don't... <sighs> mm. Yeah, I mean, I wonder. I just... We throw away so much food, too, though. I almost don't know if it's, like we don't have enough so we have to make a lot it's i think we almost make like too much you know what i mean like isn't it crazy that in so many businesses they would rather throw it away because they don't want to be taxed on it 
and they would also just not want to set the precedent that you would have you would get it for free at the end of the day like it's like it's just so wasteful <laughs> Uh, GG Madison, thanks for the sub. Sierra, thanks for the eight months. Um. They don't like, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's a bit complicated, but, you know. Hmm. I mean, that's what I'm just saying. I feel like there, there's food. It's just... Oh, again, can't really speak on things I'm not too well informed about, but... Something tells me it's that old capitalism dog at work again. Huh? What? What? Huh? But would you rather them overdo it or underdo it? I actually think they overdo it by way too much. It's not even like a... It's... I can't believe he's here. What are you doing up so early? Hmm... It's noon. Oh, <laughs> my bad. <gasps> oh. Hmm. I I can't believe I've been getting oak this entire time. I don't think I've done anything. Wasn't I supposed to build a cafe? How does Foolish do it? Doesn't he build like entire structures and like? Oh my god. And I just I just sat here getting oak. I feel like noon is early. Hmm. You're sounding a little depressed at the moment. Oh. You know what? Thanks, so silly man. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Fair enough. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, you know. Isn't this her normal voice? I'm like, ooh. I don't know. Maybe it was, it was, I spilled too many beans earlier. Wait, what? Oh, the trader's here. I was like, I don't remember putting llamas here. Is this bad? Moss block. Wait, that's good. Isn't it? Cyan dye? This looks terrible. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> Foolish. I wonder. Hmm. Oh my god, my tummy hurts so bad. Dude, I think I ate something like bad the other day. It was kind of weird. Like, Myung and I were eating this fish, and like, it tasted kind of. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, this old thing. Uh. <laughs> oh, God, this is so awkward. <laughs> um, you know. <laughs> oh, I didn't know there was an old thing down there. That's kind of. Yeah. Um. No, 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 it's okay, dude. Relax, relax. Stop! Why are you so fast? What are you doing here? Did you work out? Did you, oh, did, did you work out? Oh. Oh. Did you have 
chicken yet? Look at those beady eyes. <laughs> Did you just wake up? Like an hour ago? Oh. Hmm. What did you do for a whole hour? Hmm. I watched One Piece. Oh. Man, I haven't watched One Piece... Um... In a while. Like, after Alabasta, I was just... I, I just stopped for a little. I took a break. I can't... Fix the ship. I did my best. I honestly did. Like, there were a lot more holes and I really tried. But, like, I don't understand this part. This part's hard. Like, I don't get it. I don't remember what it looked like. Like, down here. It's kind of hard. Like, I even tried... I, I, I repaired, like, some of that part. Like, to stop the water from going in and stuff. Okay, well... <laughs> you know... Oh, Kitty, thanks for the 13 months! Thank you! He's so accepting. Honestly, yeah, he's... Dude! Oh my god, that's so sad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh man, he's really like... <laughs> Listen, dude. Where'd you go? Oh. Talking to Gus? Yeah. He's been manning the ship, I suppose. While you're away. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Gus is his llama. Oh, what? <laughs> I, listen, I thought it would be okay. Like, you know, me and that horse have bonded. It's been a while. Oh, okay, yeah. So, my bad, actually, so. Um. Oh, an axe, yeah. Wait, this is hardcore. You can't do that here. <laughs> it's different. Um, this is hardcore. You can't you can't do that here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you joking? What is wrong with you? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Like, maybe. Maybe. Whoa! Where'd you get those? Hmm. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, on yeah, you've been you've been roughing up with with you know 
some 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 rowdy boys, but I don't I don't play like that here. <laughs> My God. He's trying to play baseball, and I play softball, dude. Softball! What you doing? Um, I was collecting wood and doing a whole lot of nothing for several hours. Are you gonna do stuff today? Oh god, wait. I do Yeah, okay. I do stuff. Okay, do you wanna go do stuff, like, now? Because, like, I have chores to do. What the fudge? Oh. I need to go. Don't leave us yet. Oh. I'm cramping, though. Maybe if I take a painkiller. Oh. This is for Neos. Oh god, I fell. Wait, hold on. Um, okay. Like this. I did it! Oh. And again. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's, you know? Oh, good job! Hmm. Pretty consistent now. Hmm. Dude, I just don't understand why I'm cramping so bad. Like, I didn't ask for this, and it hurts so much. Ow. Oh my god. My organs. Go live, please. Please. I'm dying. I'm in I'm in pain, dude. <laughs> Ow. Oh, why does this always happen? Wanna play Valo? Foolish. I can't. I haven't slept yet. Since the Valo thing. Ow! Oh my god, dude, I'm cramping so bad. Why is this happening to me? Why? I don't know. Hold on. I need to go find, like, painkillers or something. This is unbearable. I'm like, I'm like... Oh, I'm gonna throw up. That, like, actually hurts. What the... Ow! Why? I'm gonna die! Okay. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go try and find painkillers.
I almost died. <sighs> Bro. <laughs> They're in the they were in the kitchen. <laughs> but I took water and I ate it and it hurts. I don't understand. I like I actually just wanna like throw up. I think like I don't know, I had like bad food and i've been telling like i don't know emily like bro i might get like food poisoning soon so just keep an eye out like i don't know it's probably like a mixture like of period cramps which is why like it's it like just still hurts and i just have to wait for them to like fade away because <sighs> it's about that time which honestly Fair enough, because I was waiting. What is square breathing? Do you have a heating pad? No, I'll be okay. I took a painkiller. I just have to wait for like five, ten-ish minutes. Hope you're not pregnant. What the fuck, bro? I think it's honestly just that time. It's coming. I don't think I ever want kids for the rest of my life. Why is Bulls just snoozing here? Whoa, what? Yeah, I don't know if I'm like a, a kid person. Ow. Highly recommend the pill or an implant. Dude, I get like... I don't know. I always just get like, I don't know if this is like normal, but like I get cramps before my period. And then like third, second day. Like it like, I get cramps like the week before and then they like, they go away for a little bit and then they come in. I'm like, oh. I'm gonna die. It hurts. I'm like a pretty hormonal person though. Hmm. Meow, meow, meow. You can remove your period. Hmm. I don't know. I tried birth control for acne one time and it made me so crazy. Like, head slam against the wall crazy. <laughs> Bullish, are you ready yet? Maybe we can play one game okay Emily my cramps are so bad Tina don't get scared wait are you coming in wait Emily give me like two seconds because I look crusty right now okay one moment honey
Okay. Hi, chat. I'm gonna end, um, stream. Foolish, you should go live, like, now. I have stuff I have to do today. Like, a lot. And I feel kind of stupid for even going live, but I just wanted to, like, squeeze one in. Like, two minutes. Bro, <laughs> this is, like, this is awkward for me. Okay. Um... Chat Emily is here. She's seeing me super crusty. Um, but thanks for hanging out. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I'm like really tired because I should have slept. But yeah. Hmm. I mean. Is he gonna start? I feel like he, he he ruined my line of communication. Okay, wait. What if I... Um... Go here. Can you guys let me know when he's live? Can you? Okay. Because it won't tell me. Um... <laughs> okay, hi dude. Go live, hurry, hurry! Oh, Quickly, yeah. with haste. I have errands. Errands? Uh, oh, Emily. so that means no Valorant. Well, Emily's here. Um, We'll just <laughs> get some stuff started and then maybe I can play Valorant. one game. Are you live yet? You I'm said 10 to. minutes, 20 minutes ago. No way, that was 20 minutes ago. Yes, you did. I'm going to raid you right now. Okay, golly. Fine, I'll go live. Gosh. I just wanted to... Man, man. What? Can't, just can't do anything. Hmm. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'm going to go down. Maybe I'll do this tomorrow because I'll probably be so tired and I'll sleep super early today. Okay, bye. I'll just let it run through organically.